in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take control today. Holy Spirit, move among us. Almighty God, do that which only you can do in our midst. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus' name, fire. My dear brethren, I welcome you to TAP's week of Pentecost. We started a few minutes, I mean, days ago because our Lord Jesus Christ has told us in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Glory be to the name of the Lord for the confidence God has given us to receive power from Him. Why don't you pick a song of praise and sing unto Him and say, What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and not the door, even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and not the door, even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. He is the king. Of kings, he is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. J e s u s. He is the king. He is the king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, J E S U S. He is the King, the Lord reign and let the earth tremble. He reign and let the earth tremble. The Lord reign and let the earth tremble. He reign and let the earth tremble. He say, I reign and let the earth tremble. He reign and let the earth tremble. The Lord reign and let the earth tremble. He reign and let the earth. Hallelujah is a heavenly language. The heavenly language, hallelujah, is a heavenly language, is a heavenly language. Lord, you are so good, Lord, you are so good, you are so good, so good, Lord, you are so good, Lord, you are so good, Lord, you are so good, so good, Lord, you are so good, you are so good, Lord, you are so good, you are so good, Lord, you are so good, so good, Lord, you are so good, you are so good, Lord, you are so good, you are so good, Lord, you are so good. You are so good. Again, I welcome you in the name of God, the Almighty God. Why don't you thank Him for giving you life? Why don't you thank Him that you are better positioned today than you were yesterday? Why don't you thank Him for the free air you are breathing in? Why don't you thank Him for the light of your eyes? Thank Him for the light that has given unto us. Glorify Him. It's word of our praise. Our God is good. Our God is great. Our God is wonderful. Thank you, ever loving Father. I thank you on behalf of Tabernacle Act of Praise and Salvation Ministry. I thank you on, the, on behalf of the members. I thank you on behalf of my family, my children, my wife, my mother, and all those who are far and near, my loved ones. Father, may your name alone be glorified in their life. Take all glory, Father. Take all adoration. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus' name, fire. Say, O oh God, arise in your words. And let there be light in my spiritual life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your words. And let there be light. In my spiritual life and my destiny. In the name of Jesus. 
O oh God, arise in your words and let there be light in my spiritual life and destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your words and let there be light in my spiritual life and my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your words and let there be light in my spiritual life and my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, my Father, arise in your words and let there be light in my spiritual life and my destiny. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, arise in your words and let there be light in my life and my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your power, in your words and let there be light in my spiritual life and in my destiny. Arise, my Father. Arise in your power and your words. Arise in the power of your words. Arise in the countenance of your face. And let there be light in my spiritual life and in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, my Father, arise. 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 Arise as my God. Arise as God. Arise as I am that I am. And let that be light in my spiritual life and in my destiny. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus' name, fire. Once more, I welcome you to Tabernacle of Aka Praise and Salvation Ministry. And this is our week of Pentecost. And our scripture for this week is taken from the Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Lord Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Meaning that God, our Father, has a purpose for giving us power. He has a purpose for preserving our life up to now. He has a purpose for keeping us in the state we are. He has a purpose for sending the Holy Spirit unto us. To be useful to Him in life. To be witness to Him. To fellowship with Him. To proclaim the gospel of His glory all around the world. And for that, we need power. But unfortunately, many of us could not receive this power. Because we could not focus on our spiritual lives. Many of us that have received it before, we have lost the same power. Many of us have become, we have become so dried spiritually. Our spiritual eyes and ears are gone into total darkness. We have come to the period of spiritual revival. Right now in Tabernacle of Aqua Praise and Salvation Ministry and even in the world. This is the moment and the period that could never be any better time than this time. For spiritual revival in our lives. To open our eyes. To open our ears. And then put our hearts and minds at rest with the Lord. Jesus Christ our Lord is the only one who can help us. If we cry to him in desperation. Many are still living in the old fire. There are only ashes that remain there. The ember is gone. We need to ask God to rekindle that fire in us. And that is why I want you to pray that prayer again. And say, oh God, arise in your words. And let there be light in my spiritual life and in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your words. And let there be light in my spiritual life and in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your words. And let there be light in my spiritual life and in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your words. And let there be light in my spiritual life and in my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise in your words 
and led up a life in my spiritual life and in my destiny. For in Jesus' name we prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus' name, fire. When the Holy Spirit is in you, you will no more be in darkness spiritually and your destiny will be showing the glory of God all around. But unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, many of us have become blind, deaf, lack of focus, spiritually, even physically. In the book of Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52, we can see the story of a man whose destiny was qualified with insulting title, with derogatory appellation, blind, blind. They could not call him by his name, but they are calling him, they were calling him according to his situation, according to the condition he was in. Which situation are you in? Which condition are you in? As far as this man is concerned, he could not see. The light, though there was light, could not shine through his eyes. And if the light did shine through his eyes, he could not perceive the light. Let's read the scripture. For Mark chapter 10, verses 6 to 52. 46 to 52. And they came to Jericho, and he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind bad mules, the son of Timaeus, they even qualified him, sat by the highway side begging, sat by the highway side begging, someone who should be a giver has become a beggar. Why? lack of light verse 47 and when he heard that when he heard that it was jesus of nazareth he began to cry out and say jesus thou son of david have mercy on me and many charged him that he should hold his peace but he cried the more a great deal thou son of david have mercy on me Many of us are shy of even declaring Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And that is why we prefer to hide in the crowd. We prefer to be lost in the crowd. We prefer to be with mixed multitude. Rather than to be where your talent could be shown, your spiritual life could improve, your horizon could expand, your potential could blow them. They tried to stop him, but he kept on crying because he knew who Jesus is. He knew without Jesus, light could not come into him. Many of us will know the truth. But rather than abiding with the truth, embracing the truth, we prefer to just go with the multitude. Verse was not, and Jesus stood still, because he heard his cry. If you are in the multitude, how can Jesus hear your own voice? If you are not where he expects you to be, how can he hear your voice? No, you'll be lost. So Jesus stood and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. Those who are mocking him were now the ones celebrating him. And he, casting away his garment, the garment of lack, the garment of wretchedness, the garment of poverty, the garment of failure, the garment of evil, the garment of affliction. What is the garment you are putting on now? That is not allowing your glory to shine. The first thing this man did was to cast away the garment. He rose. And he came to Jesus. 
not the man of God, so called the man of God, not the so called Jews, not the so called pastor, evangelist, deliverance minister, mother in history, prophetess, prophet, not them. He went to the owner of his soul. He went to he alone that created the heaven and earth. He went to he alone that is able and abundantly able to do. Jesus. He went to him. And Jesus asked a pertinent question. Not that he didn't know what to do or what was his situation. Jesus went told him to open his mouth. Many of us think that uh, when Jesus, after all, he knew what I was going on. No. He said, Knock, it shall be opened. Seek, you shall find. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. That is exactly what Jesus said. If you don't ask, it means you are comfortable with your situation. And the blind man said exactly what he wanted. He did not even complain. He did not go ignore him. He said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Jesus didn't need to touch him. His faith in Jesus was enough to give him the light, to open his eyes, to cast away every evil from him. Many of us, when we pray, we complain. We talk too much in our prayers. We say things that we are not supposed to say. We ignore marrow around the point. Rather than going straight and talk to God. Imagine millions and billions and billions of people talking to the same God at the same time. And you are wasting God's time. What did Jesus do? And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. He didn't touch me. Touch him at all. He said, thy faith has made thee whole. Meaning the faith in the Lord, the belief in the Lord, the embracing the personality of the Lord, they were enough to make things go for you. Many will be waiting on the pastor touching them. Many will be waiting, some of you will come and then when they are talking, they will not even allow the pastor to talk. They will be going from back to the front front to the back, they will tell the pastor the prayer point he should give them. How then will you allow your faith to be at work? The Bible says, and immediately he received the sight and followed Jesus in the way. He followed Jesus. He was going after Jesus. He was focusing on Jesus. He was moving along with Jesus. He didn't get his miracle and disappear like many will do. He was showing for the glory of Jesus. He was using himself as testimony for others to believe in Jesus. Here was a man, the life of his life and destiny had been changed to darkness. Just as some of us. Here was a man, the light has been taken away from his destiny, just as some of us. Here was a man, he was grouping in darkness, just grouping in darkness of life, just like some of us. Here was a man, he was forsaken by people and the world, just as some of us. Here was a man, he was put down and never thought of him as somebody, just as some of us. He believed. He had faith. He followed. He cried unto him. And there was light. In his blind eyes. Once I was blind. And now I see. Was a song. The Lord Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 
However, rather than our light shining for the world to see, we are in obscurity because we are already spiritually blind. We have a set mind. Many of us these days are in total spiritual blindness and deafness. Many of us ministers and pastors are totally dried up spiritually, financially and physically. We are only living on the ashes of yesterday. We are no more showing for the glory which has been attached to our life from heaven. And the Lord told us in Matthew chapter 6 verses 22 to 23. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? What do you mean by single? Focusing on the Lord. Stop rigmaring about. Stop being a scorpion. Stop being a chameleon. Be what God wants you to be. Focus upon Him. Luke 11, verses 34 to 36. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when the eye is single, the whole body also is full of light. But when the eye is in evil, the body also is full of darkness. Take the heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no, part, no darkness, no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle does give thee light. And Luke chapter 12 verse 35 says, Let your loins be guarded about, and your lights burning. Hold fast unto that which you have, so that you don't lose it. John chapter 3 verses 20 to 21 says, For everyone that does evil hated the light, neither come to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. For he that great truth come unto the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Please pardon me for quoting so many scriptures today. I am talking to those who believe they have Jesus, whereas they know they don't have him. I'm talking to those who believe that they have gone to high level, whereas they are on the low level spiritually. Hear me. Our Lord spoke in John chapter 12 verse 46. He said, I am come a light into the world. I am come a light into the world. That whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Chameleon pastors, chameleon Christians, chameleon members. One leg in, one leg out. Jesus is telling you, abstain for, from that practice so that your light will shine brighter and you'll be out of darkness. We need to encounter Jesus Christ who is the light. John 11 verses 9 to 10 says, Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not. Because it said the light of this world. But if a man walk in the light, you walk in the night. He stumbled because there's no light in him. Are you walking in the spiritual day or you're walking in the spiritual night? This is a clarion call for us to get out of darkness. And ask Jesus to revive our eyes. And ask Jesus to command light into our spiritual eyes and life. What do we need to do to encounter the Lord of revival? According to 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. Say, begin not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? 
and walk coming on as light with darkness. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 says, Examine yourself, whether ye be in faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own self, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. I am begging you, at the present situation we are in the world now, always do personal examination of your life. And see whether if the man of Galilee, Jesus of Nazareth, our Christ Jesus will descend. Will the Holy Spirit take you along to meet him in the cloud? Do you have that magnet in you? Numbers chapter 12 verse 6 says, And he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision, I will speak unto him in a dream. How can you receive the vision of God when you are already in darkness? Matthew chapter 1 verses 19 to 20 says, Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on this thing, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Are you conceived of the Holy Ghost in your heart, in your mind? Even those who came to present, give to him, to our Lord Jesus Christ, in Matthew chapter 2 verse 12, they saw the Lord in a dream and be one of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod they departed into their own country another way brethren watch your divine dream note it and follow dreams are very important indicator of what is going on in your life Matthew chapter 22 verse 29 Jesus told us there you do err not knowing the scriptures not the power of God when last did you study the word of God? Men of you don't even attend Bible study anymore. All you want is prayer, 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 breakthrough. Prayer, 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 prayer magic. Prayer, 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 miracle. There is the word in you. It is richly dwelling inside of you. I am begging you, study the word of God and confess the promises of God into your life. Be addicted to it. First Corinthians chapter 2 verses 9 to 11 says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither has have entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Don't be empty. Let the spirit of God dwell in you. Ask and request for divine revelation from God about your life. Don't depend on pastor. Don't depend on Jews. Don't depend on prophets. You too can talk to God. Just be a friend of God by drawing nearer and closer to Him through fellowship, through fasting and prayer. Always listen to anointed men of God when they preach. Not just anybody. Above all, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior without reservation. Be focused on whatever your hands fight doing Believe in yourself and your ability and build yourself up. And then, do not be a destroyer of the church of God. And do not be a destroyer in the house of God. I have delivered the message the Lord asked me to show you today. It's time for us to pray. But Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 says, For you were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Walk as children of light. 
Are you ready to go back to Jesus? Where you have moved away from me? Why don't you go on your knees and begin to tell him you're sorry. You have come back. And if you have not even accepted Jesus, this is an opportunity for you to walk in the light of God. This is an opportunity for you to be his child. This is an opportunity for you to get out of darkness. This is an opportunity for you like the blind man, but most did not allow Jesus to go. He cried to him. He shouted. He cast away the garment of sin. Why don't you do that now? Repent of your sin. Cast away the garment to pick it up again. Stretch for your hand unto Jesus and cry to him. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. I have come to you today. Take me as your child. I surrender my life to you totally. I declare you as my Lord and Savior. I acknowledge you as the Son of the Most High God. I thank you for coming to redeem me. I thank you for the blood you have shed for me. I thank you for blotting away my sins. Jesus, here I am. Take me as I am. Break me. Melt me. Mold me to what you want. And use me. Thank you for saving me, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus' name, fire. For those of us who have come back to Jesus, I congratulate you. Please, don't go away from the path again. And for those of us who have just accepted Jesus, find a Bible-believing church. We are to study the Word of God in truth and preach it without fear. Go there. Tell them this day, the 26th of May, 2020, you gave your life unto Jesus Christ our Lord. Through the clarion call from the Tabernacle of Aqua Praise and Salvation Ministry, Lagos, Nigeria. I am quite sure you'll be welcome heartfully and you'll be embraced into the fold of the sons and children of God. You'll be disciples and taught the ways of the Lord. Go with Jesus in the way just like the blind man must do so that you will not become blind again. Follow him, focus on him, let your eyes be single and look at heaven because the ultimate goal is heaven. Heaven are two. Heaven of Jesus and heaven of Satan. Heaven of Jesus is the blissful heaven. Heaven of Satan is the sorrowful heaven. Don't be drafted. To satanic heaven. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 13 verse 12 says, The night is fast spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armors of light. I want you to talk to my father and say, Lord Jesus, let your light shine upon me now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, let your light shine upon me. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, let your light shine upon me. In the name of Jesus, let your light shine upon me, Lord. Let your light shine upon me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your light shine upon me. Let your light shine upon me in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, let your light shine upon me in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, let your light shine upon me. 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 Let your light shine upon me in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, my Father, let your light shine upon me. 
Baba, let your light shine upon me. Let your light shine upon me. Let your light shine upon me. Let your light shine upon me in the name of Jesus. Let your light shine upon my children, my mother, my wife, and upon my this ministry, upon every member of the Banako Faka Praise and Salvation Ministry. Father, let your light shine upon us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord Jesus, let your light shine upon us. 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 For in Jesus' name, we are praying it. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus need fire. Say any association that has brought unbelief into my life be separated from me. In the name of Jesus, any association that has brought unbelief into my life be separated from me. In the name of Jesus, any association that has brought unbelief into my life be separated from me. In the name of Jesus, any association that has brought unbelief into my life, be separated from me. Be separated from me. Be separated from me. Be separated from me in the name of Jesus. Oh, any association that has brought unbelief into my life, be separated from me in the name of Jesus. Be separated, be separated, be separated, be separated, be separated, be separated from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any association that has brought unbelief into my life, be separated from me in the name of Jesus. Be separated, be separated, be separated, be separated. Be separated from me in the name of Jesus. Any association that has brought unbelief into my life, be separated from me in the name of Jesus. Be separated from me, be separated from me, be separated from me, be separated from me, be separated from me in the name of Jesus. Any association that has brought unbelief into my life, Oh yes, be separated, be separated, be separated, be separated from me. Be separated from me, be separated from me, be separated from me, be separated, be separated. Be separated from me in the name of Jesus, be separated from me. Any association that has brought unbelief into my life, be separated from me. For in Jesus' name we pray, Amen, 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 Jesus' name, fire. So any power. Sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. 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 Be unseated by fire in the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life. Be unseated. Be unseated. Be unseated. Be unseated by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any power sitting on the glory of God in my life, be unseated by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus' name, fire. First John chapter 1, verse 7. First John chapter 1, verse 7. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. The blood, meaning without you accepting Jesus, his blood will not come to you. And the blood of Jesus is so powerful that he can move mountains away from your life. Why don't you cry unto him and say, Oh Lord, make me watchful. 
and strengthen the things that remain. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, make me watchful and strengthen the things that remain. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, make me watchful and strengthen the things that remain. Ah, ah, we boy, they should be bad. Oluwa ba mi mukuro. Let me strengthen the things that remain. Make me watchful and strengthen the things that remain. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, make me watchful and strengthen the things that remain. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, make me watchful and strengthen the things that remain. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, make me watchful and strengthen the things that remain. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus' name, fire. Say, Holy Ghost. Show me where I have fallen and make me to do the first work. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, show me where I have fallen and make me to do the first work. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, show me where I have fallen and make me to do the first work. In the name of Jesus, ah. Holy Ghost, show me where I have fallen. Show me where I have fallen. Show me where I have fallen. And make me to do the first box. Uh, in the name of Jesus, show me, Lord, where I have fallen. And make me to do the first box. To proclaim the glory of God. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Show me where I have fallen. And make me to do the first work. Holy Ghost, show me where I have fallen and make me to do the first work. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus' name, fire. Second Samuel chapter 22 verse 29 says, For thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. Can we say it three times? For thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. For thou art my lamp, O Lord. And the Lord will lighten my darkness. For thou art my lamp, O Lord. And the Lord will lighten my darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus name, fire. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 9. Says the light of the righteous rejoices. But the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. What a terrible thing. Say loud and clear. Say, oh Lord, let not the fire of my lamp go out. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let not the fire of my lamp go out. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let not the fire of my lamp go out. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let not the fire of my lamp go out in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let not the fire of my lamp go out. Ah, let it burn brighter and higher in the name of Jesus. Don't let me become spiritually dry, oh Lord. Oh yeah, don't let me become spiritually stagnant, oh Lord. Let not the fire of my lamp go out. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let not the fire of my lamp go out. Let not the fire of my lamp go out. Let not the fire of my lamp go out in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Let not the fire of my lamp go out, Father. Let not the fire of my lamp go out. Ah, Baba, let not the fire of my lamp go out. Let not the fire of my lamp go out. Jehovah, let not the fire of my lamp go out. Holy Ghost, let not the fire of my lamp go out. Oh, let not the fire of my lamp go out. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus' name, fire. Say, Lord Jesus, remove not my candlestick from your presence. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, Remove not my candlestick from your presence. 
Let it burn bright and bright and glow brighter. Lord Jesus, remove not my candlestick from your presence. Remove not my candlestick from your presence, Lord Jesus. Do not cast me away from your presence, O oh Lord. Remove not my candlestick from your presence, Lord. Remove not my candlestick from your presence, Lord Jesus. Baba John, remove not my candlestick from your presence in the name of Jesus. Remove not my candlestick from your presence, O oh Lord my God. Heavenly Father, remove not my candlestick from your presence in the name of Jesus. Mighty one of Israel, remove not my candlestick from your presence. Father, remove not my candlestick from your presence. Ah! Baba Joe, remove not my candlestick from your presence in the name of Jesus. Ancient of day, remove not my candlestick from your presence. In the name of Jesus. Remove not my candlestick from your presence, Father. Don't let me be cast away, Lord. Don't reject the work of my hands, Father. Ah, remove not my candlestick from your presence, ancient of days. Almighty and the loving Father. Remove not my candlestick from your presence. Remove not my candlestick from your presence. For in Jesus name uh, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus name fire. Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 3 says now it came to pass when they had heard the law that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. They separated from Israel. They took them away. All the mixed multitude. Just like Jesus will come very soon to separate the goat from the sheep. Why don't you cry? Say, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In the name of Jesus, I separate myself from every mixed multitude. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus' name fire. Say, so I shall walk in the light of the Lord. And no darkness shall be on my way. In the name of Jesus, I shall walk in the light of the Lord. And no darkness shall be on my way. In the name of Jesus, I shall walk in the light of the Lord. And no darkness shall be on my way. In the name of Jesus, I shall walk in the light of the Lord. And no darkness shall be on my way. In the name of Jesus, I shall walk in the light of the Lord. And no darkness shall be on my way. In the name of Jesus, I shall walk in the light of the Lord, and no darkness shall be on my way. For in Jesus' name, we pray the Amen, Amen, Amen. Jesus' name, fire. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9 says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them we say they are Jews and are not. Those who say they are Christians, but they are not. Those who say they are believers, but they are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Are you a member of the synagogue of Satan? Just pretending that you are born again? Cry unto the Lord. Say every synagogue of Satan. 
set up again my spiritual life, be dismantled in the name of every synagogue of Satan, set against my spiritual life, be dismantled, be dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. Every synagogue of Satan set against my spiritual life be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Every synagogue of Satan set up against my spiritual life be dismantled be dismantled be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Every synagogue of Satan set against my spiritual life. Be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Every synagogue of Satan set against my spiritual life. Yes, be dismantled. Be dismantled. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, Amen, 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 Jesus' name, fire. Say, O oh Lord God Almighty, visit me afresh and let your light shine upon me once again. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God Almighty, visit me afresh. And let your light shine upon me once again. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God Almighty. Visit me afresh. And let your light shine upon me once again. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God Almighty. Visit me afresh. And let your light shine upon me once again. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God Almighty, visit me afresh and let your light shine upon me once again. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. 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 Jesus' name. Fire. I declare and declare that every invisible mark of darkness. That have been put in place to set you aside for witchcraft attacks shall be wiped out by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. May the Lord make you too hot to handle by dark powers in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall break every fallow ground in your life and the Lord shall announce you for supernatural breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare that power that wants you to fail in life shall fail woefully. In the name of Jesus. All that slaughter destiny shall not locate your own destiny. In the name of Jesus. Every negative mark trailing every step you take in life is hereby permanently deleted. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the blessing of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit be with you, remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Jesus' name, fire. Before we say the grace, please, I want to advise and beg you to connect with us today at 12 midnight again for our revival hour in the VG prayer conference. And also at 6 p.m. on Thursday for greater deliverance and revival. Please, our crusade is on Friday and Saturday, 6 p.m. We need your help. In whatever way you can help us, you can send it to our bank account. Zeni Bank Nigeria PLC account 101 411 9102 account 101 411 
9102. God bless you as you do, and the Lord shall reward you abundantly. And your name shall be written for a great reward as you help the gospel to grow. In the name of Jesus, your children shall be light unto this generation, and they shall be celebrated in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the blessing of God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Jesus name fire. Let us say the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now. Remain and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Jesus name fire. Hold the fort for Jesus. Hold the fort for Jesus. Hold the fort for Jesus is coming again. God bless you. See you at midnight today and also 6 p.m. tomorrow. And then at our crusade. It's where we do. Three wonderful hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah.